Um, so I think um, one of the biggest things that Jodie and I took away from when we spoke to you last was um, the incident form. Um, and there were even like small incidences um, where you said it would be enough to record that Jodie and I didn't even realise, you know, would be deemed as an incident, yeah. really. Yeah. So I think what I took away from that is if it's enough, if it's affected, if there has been an incident that's affected me enough that I need to um, inform you, yeah. then it's big enough to for us to record yes. on our yeah. incident form. So yeah. maybe you could talk to us a bit about what that would involve or what it is, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so again, this comes mainly from my youth book experience. Yeah. And it's, if something happens that needs to be documented. You should always write it down, and if you're telling someone, mm -hmm. that's great in the moment, but you probably want to forget it. And if no. you don't document it as well, you can actually hold on to that internally. Right. So when we spoke, there was stuff that was sitting with you <laughs> historically. <but laughs> yeah. that, obviously, it's important because you yeah. still remember it, yeah. and yeah. it hadn't been worked put through. down, worked through. There's Release. been no release. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was definitely a moment of realization when we were speaking to Josh, and we thought mm -hmm. of all these <laughs> situations that we just thought, "Hey, that wasn't right," but never yeah. did anything with. Yes, just felt upset or offended or whatever you know and again we are next to a bottle store yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we, we just you know it just kind of was like a little flood of uh, like a, just a, an eye-opening moment of mm. oh wow there's been quite a few situations that I really should have written down yeah. and it's yeah. also as a record isn't it because if something else happens somewhere That's else right. or yeah. later on mm. you actually have that as a record yeah. yeah and the good thing about it as well is if you do it just after the fact mm. it's still fresh in your mind it's a chance for you to sit down, yeah. so you actually have to remove yourself from what you were previously doing. Right. For a few minutes at least, have your water, fill out your form, yeah. and just understand what's just taken place. Right, yeah. You know, it might not fully feel great, but at least yeah. you've understood it. Yes. You put it on paper, it's there. Yep. And the good thing about that is, if there becomes a reoccurring pattern mm. of similar stuff happening, yeah. mm. or similar people, or similar times of day, yeah. then you've got that documented. Right. And you can review that stuff, yes. and put things in place to prevent yeah. further stuff from happening. And actually, that was one thing that really stuck in my mind as well, was that um, you said that if something happened, mm -hmm. Um, whilst you had a client here yeah. that you should even include who the client was that mm. was here whilst that happened mm. because Definitely. it could be a complete coincidence that the next time an incident occurs that that same person is there mm. yeah. and you know you don't remember these things and it's no. like how many times has that person there's only ever been three incidences that mm. you know has ha have happened but it's been the same client or mm. it's been you know the, the same the client surroundings of the same yes, client. Yeah. You know, and how does that client feel as well? Mm. So it's sort of important for your business as well, really. Yeah, Definitely. To know and what's going on around. And acknowledging if you see a pattern of the stuff in your incidences, actually acknowledging with those clients mm. when they next come in, I apologise it's been happening. We, we, we yeah. recognise that there's been multiple occurrences when something's taken place. Yeah. And this isn't okay. Mm. And this is what we're proactively doing to try and prevent this in the future. Yeah. And this, yeah. you know, actually letting them know you're doing stuff mm. rather than it's just, oh my God, every time I go there, so, yeah, so something does this, happens. Yeah. something happens and yeah. it's a palaver and I feel really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean it's probably unlikely but you don't know until you record it, do you? No. That's true, yeah, yeah. You know, that is true. And, and from my youth work stuff it was a huge learning tool for myself mm -hmm. to better reflect on what I was doing that was leading to negative stuff happening mm -hmm. or what I wasn't doing to prevent it. And just learning that then when it comes to situations you're a lot more relaxed because mm -hmm. you know from your learnings that yeah. A, B or C could happen in this environment yeah. and this has happened so what have I learned to do best yeah. Yeah? and it's that learning over time yeah. that gives a better service, makes people feel more comfortable, yeah. it makes mm. you feel more relaxed because mm. you're more confident in yourself and not only does confidence as in yeah I feel really good about this, yeah. you know from experience you should be confident yeah. rather than that self-fulfilling profit of yes I'm great yeah. but really you're not, <laughs> not equipped at all. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 There is, you know, there is occasions where you're just like, I really don't feel right about that person wanting that therapy, eh? You know, like, and I think for me that's like, there's nothing, you can, I feel like there's nothing you can do about that. Mm -hmm. But you had mentioned, this is where this comes in, you'd mentioned that you can set up a form yeah. that people actually have to look read about um, what is yes. it like um kind of code of like conduct or an introductory yeah. kind of yeah expectations and yeah. expectations that yeah. was so so I'm, I suppose the point I'm getting at is like if if we are giving people this form of expectations about how you know we expect you know appropriate behaviour and, mm -hmm. and etc and in then, turn they can expect professional yeah, that's right know. then that gives yeah. them the opportunity to if they're there with untoward 
reasons and yes. then they can cancel the appointment if they re- yeah, you know yeah. straight up we're saying this is how it works mm-hmm. then they can yeah and it works both ways doesn't it mm-hmm. i mean we're saying that we're going to be professional mm-hmm. and yes. that we're not going to be inappropriate mm-hmm. because i'm sure that you know there have been people clients who have been in situations yes. oh, yeah. you know where it's the opposite yeah. you know so i yeah. mean it's also it can happen Either way, can't yeah. you know? Yeah, and it's giving a clear foundation of the relationship. Yeah. It's saying, well, if your expectations of us is we'll deliver a great service, yeah. we'll be professional, yeah. um, we'll, we'll work alongside you to give you the best treatment possible for you, mm-hmm. you know, that professional advice, but also an expectation from us to you is that you won't be inappropriate, yeah. you know, and you don't need to specify every inappropriate no, no. thing in the book. I think though, as well, having that information at the bottom of the sheet, or just mm. anywhere in particular, also gives the client an opportunity to say, hey, you know, if a situation happens to them, hey look, you know, that's not okay. You know, mm. it gives them the opportunity where they've yeah. signed a form that says mm. that they also expect to receive a particular treatment yes. and particular professionalism, yeah. Yeah. and if they don't receive that, or if they feel something's out of, out of line, then they can say, you know, well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to come back. Or I think the key thing is enabling your clients to raise concern if they have it. Yes. And so if you're actually suppressing that, mm-hmm. if you're doing a, a therapy with a client and they don't feel comfortable, yeah. you want them to tell you exactly. yeah. rather than continuing it yeah. and they don't feel comfortable because it's yeah. actually really poor form for everyone and everyone will have a negative experience yeah. Yeah. short and long term from that. Yeah. Like, I suppose the conversations that we've had today can be used in any situation so it doesn't yeah. have to necessarily be if you work in a salon, um, it could be, yeah, because you, you say you also work with a lot of people in yeah. hospitality as yeah, well okay. where a lot yeah. of alcohol is involved. Oh and, yeah, probably worse than ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I think um, uh, people can take stuff regardless of where they work and what yeah. environments they're in yeah. and whether they're a client or whether they're a, mm-hmm. somebody who's providing the service. service. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So, yeah, I think it can be transferred to any relationships that we have mm. as long as it's just being clear in our communication, what yeah. our expectations are yeah. and what we're wanting to do going forward. If, mm. if you're clear around that, mm. it's a lot easier to have an honest relationship. And if you don't, you're more likely to have harm to yourself and other people going forward. Yeah. And especially carrying that baggage historically of there was a really horrible experience. Yes. But what do I do with that? It's, yeah. it's common in any profession. Right. You know? And so yeah. having that time to have your reflective practice. Right. So filling out those incident forms, yeah. having a debrief with a colleague if yes. need be, and then just seeing what you can do in the future to prevent it from happening again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I, I think it was a big, a, a really... Um, you know, huge point to take away was was actually reflecting, mm-hmm. taking yeah. the time to reflect. Uh, yeah, and I mean, incidents can happen so far, few and far between mm-hmm. that, mm. you know, um, ha- having something as simple as a form to fill out, you never forget to do that. I think that's everything that we wanted to cover in the video today, um, and I hope that um, if you're watching this, you've forgotten something from this that you can take forward with you, and it helps you out. And I want to thank Josh for coming in and discussing it with us. Um, he made us feel a lot better about how we should deal with these situations, and because of that, I asked Josh to come in and film with us because I wanted to share that, um, and, you know, with you guys. Mm-hmm. And I thought that that would be just something you all could get something out of you know regardless of where you're at at the moment where you work etc mm-hmm. yeah so thank you for coming thank yeah we really your wisdom yeah. pearls of wisdom yeah <laughs> fantastic anything in, anything else that's it we're good that's good we're good and don't forget to see josh on his uh waxing montage <laughs> <laughs> he did really well he featured on it yeah <laughs> <laughs> he laughed a lot <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye. (laughs)